Hey guys, this is Rob Koblenz. Wanted to show a video of something that I've been experimenting with uh, today. And this was, this relates to a question that Kimberly, you had asked me some time ago, how do we get the song in our ear like we do in Sarita? And it's a simple process in Ableton, you know, I'm able to put the song in and um, yeah, here's a song right here. For instance, this is our God, and we can put this in in our ears anytime we want, you know, to get us back on track or just to hear how it goes to work out parts. So that's relatively easy in Ableton, but it's not so simple in playback. But it is possible, and I wanted to show you if there's somebody that would be interested in making this work for you guys, I I, I could show them how to do it but i thought i would write or do a video explaining the process and if there's something that you would be willing to do so uh, they would need ableton at least maybe like uh the student not the the expensive version they can do it on the standard version um and uh do what i'm going to show you so uh first what i wanted to show you here uh, as you can see this is um our God and right here I have track and that's the actual track that I've uploaded to cloud and the way you, you get that song is when you add a song go to library not all songs songs and cloud and there it is you hit add we're not gonna do that right now because I already have it so our problem with the cloud songs is when you download them they look like this well I went ahead and spent some time to put section markers in and the way you do that once you download the song in the cloud you hold this edit section and hit cloud sections and that enables you to put in these sections I'm not going to show that there are videos explaining how to do that <clears throat> but I wanted to show you that it can be done so that it looks just like this one this is the one you will download from or you can use this one obviously because it's there um, this is the one you would get from multi-tracks it's already got all the markers <clears throat> and if you ever wondered what these are down here these are MIDI cues for pro presenter and if you're interested in that we were doing that we, we do that in Sarita um, I can explain how to do that to Randy or whoever the um, computer person is um, it's pretty simple but um, so anyhow but for another time I wanted to show you how this is done okay and I should play it for you I'm just gonna play a portion of it because I don't want to get flagged by YouTube but I'm gonna press play First. What are you turning? turn off the track Open. turn it back on the cool thing about this is if you you can easily do this with a MIDI pedal to where you can actually um, do a MIDI to where this turns on and off with a foot pedal. It's real simple. If somebody knows MIDI, um, they can easily figure this out. Um, I do have a pedal, in fact, that you could use if you wanted it. Um, it's not being used right now. so. If you guys wanted to do some of these things, a MIDI pedal, I do have actually two different ones that uh, you could use. Okay, so how did I do this? Uh, the first thing that has to be done is going into Ableton. You have to do certain things in order to make it work. Um, every stem, each one of these are stems, um, has to be the same length. This is just a requirement for playback software multi-tracks um, for instance if this is short it has to be you know the exact same length from you know beginning to end some of these are not needed like this guide right here this is a guide repeat that I use in Ableton if we wanted to re repeat a section we can do that and the guide will tell you wh what you're repeating that's what that is uh, if that looks confusing um, so that's the important part everything has to be the same length okay because um, not everything is the same length for instance when I
put in the song, I have to, you know, put it in where it actually starts because you have the count off, for instance, one, right here. Two, one, two, three, four. So when I put this song in, I got to line it up so that it's in sync with the rest of the song. But when you put that in, it's going to look like this. So I had to create the ability to um, make this longer so that it does start at the beginning and it finishes at the end just the same as the others. So um, I can explain how to do that if somebody wants to do it. It's just a matter of consolidating, adding additional length and consolidating it um, right here. So I'm not going to show that. I'm not going to get too much detail on this, but I wanted to just say this is the important part and then you export it um, and these are just some configurations that you need to have i uh i heard from christian ponsford he recommended the master being at negative three so uh, christian ponsford is a guy that i learned from on ableton uh, he's on youtube and he says negative three on the master um, again this means nothing to you um, unless you know ableton uh, it's got to be, you know, I, we do wave files and then keep this at 16, no dither, and then you hit export. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. And I wanted to show you where I saved it. I saved it to an external drive that I have. I was going to start What a Beautiful Name, but it's a long process. I was going to try and get the whole set done for this weekend, but it's a lot of work. So I wanted to show you this is where I exported all the stems. And when you get all the stems, you know, if you end up, if whoever does this ends up getting the returns in there, like this return here, and you export it, you forget to unclick that or if it's in there, um, they just need to delete that because it will not upload that. It won't upload any MIDI stuff, it, only audio. So that's key. So I deleted the, because I did. Uh, export the returns and the master and some others and so I just deleted them then once you get that you got to compress it so I hit compress I already did that I'm not gonna do it now and there it is okay so it has to be a zip file then you go to our um, multitracks.com account and um, just hit account and I'll just show you Go to account, then you go to library. Again, I'm kind of going fast, but you can always pause it. Then hit add song, create cloud song, put all the info in. And I even found the JPEG, you know, actually here on multi-tracks. I just right clicked, saved it, uh, the image, and then uploaded it. And that's how I got that image to show in playback there. So once you do that, it'll take some time to upload to multi-tracks, all those stems. So give it, so be patient. <laughs> and then it may take several times. It, it took me like five or six times because it didn't tell me a reason. So I had to figure it out. And the, they have a help section. They, and I found out that the reason it wasn't uploading was because in Ableton, I didn't have the stems lined up and equal in length. And that was a big thing. Also, it can't be above above 800 meg, must be. Once you get it in, then you actually name the individual stems. They should be, you know, they'll look exactly like this. Um, and then you just go down on the drop down and name it the same as, as you see there. So guide non-dynamic. This is the actual track. This is the whole reason we're doing this right here. This is the actual track. So it won't, you don't have an option saying track. So you can just type in your own here and that's what I did. And so you go through all those, then you hit save. It'll take some time to upload. And if it works out, great. <laughs> it took me, like I said, five times to figure it out. Okay, so now back to playback. Let's see, what am I forgetting? Okay, oh, if you wanted to hear it in your ears, so you hit edit. There you go. So you can move that to click and now you'll hear it in your ears. And that's it. Let me know if you have questions. If somebody's interested in this, I have all the 
files saved here on a, an external hard drive. It is ours, Grace Churches, so absolutely can share these. So, um, and then if you, you just got to do those things that I'm, I showed. So it is capable. I just wanted to let you know. Hope you guys are doing well. Take care.